Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases, and today I am running the official release of 1.45 for American Truck Simulator. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you have not known already, American Truck Simulator has officially released 1.45. It is no longer in beta, and today we are going to be driving this beautiful Freightliner Cascadia with this drop deck trailer hauling one of the new cargo types that's kind of coming in with Monta the Montana DLC, but it is a free update for everyone as well so it's basically just part of 1.45 long story short and this is waste paper there's multiple new cargo types but this is the waste paper and i think it's actually quite interesting it's definitely a heavy cargo uh 38 000 pounds basically 39 000 pounds so it's going to be a pretty good delivery in general and today we are here in courier de land kind of right by montana and hence kind of not coincidental at all uh and we're heading down to lewiston so it's not really a long delivery but it's going to be uh, quite a nice road type today uh, i don't think it's too much highway a little bit more side roads and stuff like that and we've got some stuff to talk about so why don't i go ahead into this freightliner cascadia get her started up and get rolling hopefully everyone is doing well i certainly am it has been well almost two weeks now since my last uh well i guess other, uh, video other than prime news ats showcase i want to do ets2 again for some reason i just haven't been doing it uh that's on me my bad oh, we're gonna give that car lots of space here um and oh is this this is gonna be a tight one uh what are you doing there ai okay let's just keep rolling here and hopefully we don't scrape his bumper oh it's awfully close i think we've done it we have just done it what a pro driver we are <laughs> that's sarcastic and what i'm gonna try to do today although we nearly had an accident there i'm gonna try and actually have a video but kind of back to where i was doing uh without an accident it has been a little bit of a trend that i am not very happy about to be honest with you but it does make the videos quite entertaining when it does happen uh the last couple episodes i've crashed or had an accident of some sort um now saying that there were other things happening and one of them i was just a very flustered prime i guess you could say and one of the other ones was just plain simple i just made a mistake so i'm gonna try and have a pretty good delivery today and i think we will in general and i mean it's nice to be doing just a drop deck trailer here. I mean, I love the drop decks, and it's really just kind of awkward positioning here for the camera. But let's roll away here and talk about, well, 1.45, the official release of the update, no longer in beta. So if you were part of the beta, as long as your game, uh, American Truck Simulator, obviously, has updated, you will notice that in your Steam client. You may have to restart your Steam client if you don't shut off your computer all the time or shut down as not, you know, all that stuff. If you don't really restart Steam or your computer that often, you should probably uh, do that every here and there. But American Truck Simulator should automatically update, and then you could just opt out of the beta, no harm done. And now, technically, I'm not using any mods in this video. Uh, I'm not using any sound mods, anything like that, although I still do have them installed on my profile, which I probably will be getting rid of, though, uh, very soon, because with Montana coming, I want to make sure everything's completely uh, fresh. And let's talk a little bit about that. August 4th. That is the planned day of release. That is huge for us, to be honest. Montana, as far as we know, will be releasing on August 4th, and that is huge news for us in the community. It's going to be a red light situation here, so I'm going to apologize for the start and stop. That is great news. Uh, in my in my eyes, I, I just love to see release dates, or at least planned release dates for the DLC. Now, as of recording this video, that is, I believe, next Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, from at least the time of recording this video. If you're watching this after Montana releases, well, this information doesn't really help you much now, does it? As far as we know, August 4th is the plan, and it seems like SES Software is putting their foot down, I guess, on that day. If there is a big issue, which I doubt there will be, but you never know, that date may be fudged around, so definitely keep an eye out here on the channel. I will be updating you guys as soon as I can uh, on any form of news that comes out revolving around ATS, ETS2, Montana, Texas. You know, all the all the works that you, uh, for all you lovely people who have been around here for a while, know and hopefully love about the channel. And may I say, before we get into a few of the other things that I've got on my little list here today, thank you all so much for the support. I know it's been a little rough when I guess when it comes to upload schedules especially for these longer deliveries the chat let's have a little bit of a chat moment um and feel free to interact in the comments as well i love when i see those and you guys are amazing for that 
But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for the support here around the channel. It's been a little bit more on the Prime News side than it is the simulation actually gameplay side, I have to say, for the channel recently. Um, there's no excuses on my end. It's just, it's been the way it is. I've been busy and I'm not going to go any more than that. There's no need to make excuses of this and that. It's plain and simple. Um, I've just been, I've been doing the best to fit in these longer episodes, but there are times that I just cannot... Um, I'm gonna get over here. I've made this mistake before at this intersection before of uh, not being in the correct lane. So we're doing that today. Being in the correct lane is always the way to go. Um, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for the support anyways, because even if I haven't been doing the same amount of content uh, or the same type of content that some of you guys like, I do appreciate the constant support, uh, members, the patrons, it doesn't matter. Um, all the donations otherwise, uh, merch sales, you know, just watching the video, it, it's subscribing, you know, all the data and analytics stuff that, you know, YouTube tries to shove in every creator's face and then what you guys ultimately hear about uh, because every creator likes the numbers. Well, ultimate, in, in all truth, I just appreciate the fact that you guys watch the video. Um, I just do this because I really enjoy doing it, uh, not any other... Uh, I guess reasoning to be honest uh and what it has done is allow it open doors in many other ways that you guys probably won't ever realize uh when it comes to my life so i do appreciate um what everything you guys do uh whether you do support uh on a mon oh there we go scrape up against the barrier ah, that's what a bumper's for even though they're plastic and they probably crack every time you touch them that's what a bumper's for. No worries about that. Um, whether it's monetary or just watching the vid uh, the videos themselves, I do truly appreciate all the support. I can't say it enough. And uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Now, enough of the Prime Simulation jibber-jabber. Uh, although you're still listening to me, so I guess you're still listening to Prime jibber-jabber. Let's talk a little bit about what's coming more here. So, when it comes to the... Montana DLC. I guess that's the biggest thing. Of course, we know now the release date. Uh, August 4th, at least. That is what is the plan is. Um, we have in the last in the time since the last um, ATS showcase, we've also had a blog post on the port of entries and the new cargo types. I believe there are seven or eight new cargo types. Obviously, we're hauling one of them, uh, but I cannot remember um, all of them, or at least I'll do my best to remember some of them. So I know we've got the wa uh, the waste paper here. I think we've got garbage bins uh, or containers, just little ones. Um, we've got, I think, a garbage truck as well. There's some form of electrical thing as well. I think it's like hydro... I, want, I think there's hydro poles or uh, telephone poles, service poles, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I believe there's some other electrical insulator thing. <laughs> uh, to be honest, check out the Prime News, or, or the blog post for that matter, um, that I did on the ports of entry and new cargo types coming to ATS in Montana DLC. I believe that's what I kind of titled the Prime News, can't quite remember to be honest. Um, but there were multiple new cargo types coming in, and plus the ports of entry uh, into the state themselves, so all the checkpoints, all that good stuff. We have also had another Texas uh, DLC blog post, or at least a couple. Um, but definitely we've had one and I am completely blanking on what it was. So we're going to move on until I remember it. I'm sure I'll remember it at some point. Um, but yeah, we, we did have a Texas TLC blog post. Uh, and I honestly can't quite remember what it was, which is really quite bad of me. Uh, and it'll probably come to me, uh, quite soon. So we'll just continue on here and hope that it comes back to the prime brain. If not, um... It, we're, we're just not getting it back. I'll probably talk about it in the next episode because I'm sure there'll be another ATS showcase. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, quite soon because with Montana coming just around the corner here, there's I've got a lot of content planned, and as far as I know, I'll have the time to do it as well. Uh, it's actually going to work out, I think, the release and my schedule quite well. Uh, that's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, but yeah, it is just... It's one of those things that we've just got to kind of wait and see and especially for the content of course i'm waiting for uh, the montana dlc to drop so i can do my class my prime simulation classic uh, cinematic tour where i go around some of the viewpoints and see the absolute beauty of the dlc and of course the first look actual del delivery and all the other great stuff that comes along with dlc releases i will be doing 
We've also had, well, I was going to say other news. What is that Texas DLC blog post? That's really going to bug me. I cannot honestly remember. Okay, it is time to text and drive, my friends. I wish I could. I had, a, uh, in, in a sense, a camera for you guys to be able to see this. Um, but saying that, it kind of goes against what I'm doing right now. But who knows? Future may change. So, okay, now I'm on the blog post while driving. This is lovely. Okay, so we've got the American Truck Simulator uh, 1.45 update release. I already talked about that. We got the Montana release date announcement. I already did that. Oh, the gameplay video. America, they, they, SES Software released a gameplay video. That was also really good. I summarized it actually in a Prime News. Beautiful delivery, by the way. Uh, the scenery in Montana is looking absolutely incredible, and the amount of diversity in the landscape itself is just truly stunning. Ah, the car factories. That's what the Texas DLC was. There we go. Texas DLC blog post on the car factories. Uh, there were actually two of them. Uh, now it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me now. I uh, better not do that because I'm going to get copyright claimed. Rip the channel if I if you don't see me in a bit. Please don't get me. I think it's Sony is the one that's bad, but whatever. We'll move on. Car factories, two of them. I think the one was from the General Motors plant, and the other one was the Toyota plant. Two major plants in Texas. Uh, as far as I know, there could be other ones as well. Uh, but the blog post didn't specifically say that there'd be more, but almost hinted at it, because it did say two of the uh, car factory. So I'm not quite sure about that. And uh, kind of funny enough, the uh, a lot of the vehicles in American Truck Simulator, if you haven't noticed, um, are kind of more Ford-based. And of course, all the cars just disappear on me as I try and zoom in. But generally speaking, um, especially when it comes to the truck side of things, and cars most of them are around the fords and stuff like that funny enough with gmc and the toyota plant in the screenshots um of the, the uh, of of the uh, factories themselves it looked it, you know the it basically had the the mock uh fords and stuff like that um all in the uh or the models of the different ford vehicles uh, in the in the lots as they were being produced, kind of funny uh, in a way because obviously, well, big shock for anyone who, uh, you know, just to clarify for people who may not be uh, aware, GMC and Toyota do not make Ford products. Just throwing it out there. Um, and one thing, a lot, and, and I believe most of the screenshots actually had, uh, well, the Frog. I, th I can't remember what they're called in American Truck Simulator, but they're the F-150s, the Ford F-150s. Uh, Ford in American Truck Simulator, and I think ETS-2 may even have some of them as well, um, are called Frogs. Um, that's the brand name uh, that that they made. But they kind of they look. You can tell what the brand is by just looking at it. Uh, so I don't know if that's just really early kind of modeling stuff just for placeholder effect or if that's actually how the generation of the um, models and the scenery itself will work in those. I'm really hoping that they add some different AI vehicles for whenever we end up getting Texas down the line. It'd be really nice to have some different, uh, a little bit of different vehicle types and different manufacturers and at least have some correlating uh, correlating car manufacturers for the respective production plants because although it doesn't actually say you know it's a Ford or whatever dealer and or manufacturer plant um, it doesn't actually show you know they don't have like separate names for them it would be really great if they did um, and actually made a bit of a correlation between it because it would just make it more realistic ultimately uh, instead of just having some generic car manufacturing plant um, it'd be nice if they linked it to even their in-game obviously it'd be, have to be their in-game uh, made up names for the different brands but it'd be really nice if they uh, if they did that they would just make it a lot more realistic at least in my opinion um, and I think we gotta go right here we sure do so we're going to go ahead and get into this right lane. This truck ahead of me really slowed down, like absolutely jammed on the brakes. For whatever reason it was, there must have been something happening up ahead. Um, this delivery has actually turned into more highway driving than I thought, to be honest with you. Um, I forgot that there was more of the uh, highway on this journey. Um, that's my bad. Apologize for that. 
But I think we are getting close to Lewistown here. I believe this is the kind of interchange for Lewistown. I do kind of remember it. Um, and soon enough, we should see a sign that says Lewistown, which would be lovely. And I think this is, yeah. Definitely getting some Lewistown vibes I around here. Does that sign say Lewistown? It does. Lewiston, Idaho. Beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, we're getting nice and close. Oh, look at that trailer. Now that is a unit. I'm gonna have to try one of those uh, trailers. I think you can actually customize those. Um, I'll have to look uh, as I'm drifting around in my lanes. I'll have to check. I think you can. Uh, so that'd be really quite neat if I could. Uh, but yeah, decided to just go with the drop deck trailer today. Uh, not even the Load King or the Prestige trailers. Just decided the generic um, trailer that SCS Software did originally for the drop deck trailer integration. Um, just decided to go with that. Keep it classic, keep it simple. Um, just change it up a little bit, because I've been doing a lot of Load King trailers recently. Well, there is a great reason for it, but uh, decided to change it up, you know, give a little bit of extra variety. Uh, and we are actually taking this to a paper processing plant, and we may... Act, I can't remember where we came from. Um, well... I can't quite remember where I picked it up, to be honest. I think it was like a Walbert or something. Well, I don't I don't think it was another paper plant. Um, no, it was like a Walbert or something, which actually kind of makes sense. Cardboard, that's really what it is. These are cardboard bales. Huh, that makes sense. Actually, makes a lot of sense, to be honest. I like that correlation now that I think about it. Pick up paper, waste paper products, so cardboard bales and stuff like that, from a big retail store and then take it back to a processing plant to be, well, recycled, I guess, but re uh, uh, turned back into pulp, I'd imagine, and repressed and all that good stuff. So that's actually quite neat, I'm not going to lie. It's a quite a nice thing uh, to have here in ATS, just a little bit of a logistics chain happening. Something I do would, I, I think a lot of us would really want to see um, is the actual introduction of contracts, uh, and not just, you know, one job contracts but legitimate company contracts where you're doing chain deliveries um or in for example a box trailer i mean i don't have a box trailer on now but even for a drop deck you have to drop off to multiple points and you're just progressively getting lighter in your load so for example if you did go the reefer or standard uh, box trailer type and you're just hauling around goods like that um, it would be very neat to be able to drop off to, for example, a couple Walberts, or I think there's like a tid, there was some other marked thing too. Um, just drop off to some of the other places uh, in, in a sequence, and even maybe all of different Walberts in a certain area, for example. Uh, you're basically going from a Walbert warehouse to multiple of the stores. Um, that would be something that I think a lot of us would be quite interested in uh, and it would make it a lot more realistic especially for those who want to go the fleet route uh, and you're doing it like you're dri basically driving for Walbert essentially uh, which would be actually quite neat I have to say uh, so where are we parking this rig today oh it looks like we're going over in there so let's spin this thing around I won't bother putting on the flashers it's pretty open here and I don't feel like listening to it today There's no one around anyway so it's all fine. Love the pivoting axle back there. Um, <laughs> the, or the turnable rear steering axle is just lovely to have for the turning circles, especially reversing as well. Uh, so I don't want to go too close on this side. We've got plenty of room. Just as long as I leave plenty of room on that side, I think we're fine. Uh, so I think if we start letting it go back there. Yeah, I think we're, we're doing fine. We can afford to let it drift in. We just got this we've got that container right there that's causing a little bit of havoc. Uh, we've got to turn it in a little bit here. Actually, that's not too bad. It's really not actually too... Oh, that, that actually is actually pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> let's, pull, let's pull that forward a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get her in this way a little bit better. Okay. No, that's pretty straight. I mean, nowhere on the line, I think. I, I actually, it's not 
okay, yeah, it's still not that great. I mean, how finicky do you want to want to be with this? I the whole point of me doing a sh slightly shorter delivery, kind of you know spoilers, but whatever, is to be able to get this up to you guys because I'm definitely recording it later than I would normally like to, and I know I'm cheating, but I'm trying to get this done in a timely manner ish. I don't know if it's really going to change much. Oh, it is slightly. There we go. It's a little bit better. Try and straighten her back up here. Pull forward, and we'll be just fine. Beautiful stuff. The whole point is just because I wanted to get it up to you guys a little bit sooner than later. Um, but, you know what? It was actually a great delivery. Uh, not too, too long. Sometimes it's nice to have these a little bit more straightforward deliveries. And uh, I'm actually happy that it did go fairly straightforward. Just a nice cruise, talked about some stuff. And it's all the stuff we like to hear about, especially in this really exciting time here in ATS. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.